Hey everybody, and welcome back. Hope you guys have been uh, doing some cool stuff, getting out there, or even if you've been staying in, working on some good projects. I just finished this bookshelf you see behind me, so that's going to be for all the uh, the kids' homeschool books and a few of my reference books that really didn't have a place. In other news, I got a couple of these. Um, there we go. This is a is a poncho. It's actually a, a German military poncho, very similar to the ones that we use in the U.S. military, um, or at least that uh, that we used when I was in basic training and uh, marine combat training. It worked really great. I got this from Old Grouch Military Surplus, and I actually got two of them. I first bought one, and then decided I liked that pretty well, and I should probably go and pick up another one while I still had them, you know, military surplus, being sort of a, you know, once it's gone, it might be gone for a while kind of thing. And when I got this, uh, this is the second one I got. Um, unfortunately, these buttons here on the side were all buttoned up, and if you've ever dealt with these, they can be a real pain. So as I'm trying to un snap these, you see that right there, I end up getting a, a tear in a couple of spots on my, you know, new to me poncho, which is kind of not cool. I don't blame the guys at Old Grouch. Uh, it didn't have holes when it shipped, but now I have to patch them up. So I'm going to go over that. We're going to do a little bit of a, a gear repair workshop here today. And I'm going to be using just this, uh, this military duct tape. It's uh, OD green. I've got a couple of them. I'm going to be using this one because it, it matches. I don't know if it'll show up on camera very well, but it matches the color of the poncho just a little bit better. And it, it tends to match uh, the texture. This has a duller texture. So I'm going to pause for a minute, get the camera zoomed in, and uh, we'll continue with this. I'm going to drop stuff too, apparently. All right, here we go. If you couldn't see it before, here's one of the tears that I have in my poncho. Um, the first thing you'll notice is I put on some rubber gloves because we're going to be degreasing this so that the duct tape will stick better. And one, I don't want to dry my hands out, but also I don't want to get any of the grease from my hands onto here. So, I'm going to hit both sides with a little alcohol wipe. Give that a minute to flash off. While we're doing that, uh, set that right here. Let me get my tape ready. So, if you look here, this has got a ragged edge on it, like where I, I tore it off before. To get rid of that, I'm going to use some scissors here. Cut a nice clean edge. Now, obviously, this is different than if I were in the field. If I were in the field, clean it off the best I could, slap some duct tape on it, and get on with life. But, since I am here in my workshop, I want to take full advantage of everything I have here. All right. There's a tear. Hold that. And I want to get this as, as flat as I can. I want this to, to match up as perfectly as I can with this right here. I don't want to have any wrinkles in it. And it's not going to adhere very well. Now I'm going to take that carefully with a, an exacto knife here. Don't want to cut the poncho underneath.
There we go. Now the benefit of that is that this duct tape is going to hold right here, but it's also going to wrap all the way around the back side and it's going to hold on the other side here too. I probably could have used a slightly longer piece of duct tape to do this. There we go. There's the patch on either side. You see I cut a hole where we can get our we can still use our snaps. We'll talk about how to improve these here in a moment. For right now, I want to talk about the duct tape itself. I've got a lot of experience using this over the years and I found it it really hates two things. It has great great adhesion power once you get a couple things right. And the, the first thing it hates is it hates dirt. So you want a nice clean surface. And the second thing is it hates being cold. If it's if you're trying to use this in the cold, forget about it. And now you can't tell, but right now it's winter and I'm down cellar and it's a little bit chilly. So I'm going to take, let me set this right here. Stay. Good poncho. There we go. I'm going to take this and I'm going to hit it just a little bit with a heat gun. doesn't have to be a, a heat gun. You probably get away with a hair dryer. You can tell I've got this set way down here on the, the low end of the settings. We'll let it warm up a bit. Again, it does not have to be a lot. I just want to get this warm so the adhesive will warm up, adhere to the, uh, the underlying material. And then I, once, it, once it's adhered, you're good. It can cool back off. You can take it out in the snow in the winter. No problem. I don't know if you can see that on the video. If you look over here, as I heat this up and press it down, it doesn't spring back up. This side has still popped up. I'm going to heat that up a little more, press it down, really work it into that uh, the underlying the, the PVC material. And there's a little strip of cotton here. That's fine. We're just going to press the, the tape right into it. It'll work just fine. Um, I've seen plenty of guys patch uh, cotton coveralls with this tape. Again, the secret's just to get it a little bit warm. Press that in, looking good. All right, it's gonna be wash, rinse, repeat for the rest of these. I've got several more tears to do, and then we'll move on to uh, treating these little, uh, these snaps here so this doesn't happen again. All right, and we can see here I've got my patches done. That takes so much less time when I'm not doing it for the camera. Now, 
on to these. I said we're going to fix these. Um, these snaps are kind of a, a love-hate relationship kind of thing. And, and love because they, they do hold really strong. And then hate because, well, they, they do hold really strong. And uh, this is not the first uh, mil- military gear to have been ruined by pulling on these snaps. So, what we're going to do, um, and I'm using this because I happen to have it. This is a, a case lube that I cooked up. It's just uh, liquid lanolin and isopropyl alcohol. The alcohol, of course, evaporates, leaving you with just the lanolin. Get a good bunch of that. I'm going to coat the inside of that. Go to the next one. Just keep doing this to all of them until I've uh, got them all nice and coated. And this, with lanolin, it's going to stay, because it's, it's a natural grease, um, it's going to stay there. Well, it, you know, regular old uh, engine or bearing grease would stay there. Uh, but as opposed to, say, a penetrating oil, which would, uh, which would likely wash out pretty quickly. The other thing, if you're in the field, of course, you can use, uh, speaking of oil, you could use like a CLP, if you have it. Um, if you have a, like a lip balm, take some of that, shove it in there, that will work as well, if you have this already off. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have taken some kind of penetrating oil and put it in there. Uh, another one that I often have around the house is something like, uh, this is bag balm. And yes, this is actually one of the old ones that has cow's udders and not hands there in the picture. Yeah, I'm old. I know. You don't have to tell me. I've had that for a while, though. Anyway, we want to get some kind of a, a lubricant down in here. So that then... It pops open pretty easily. And you can do the same thing here, again, just a little bit. It doesn't hold as well because this is exposed on the male end. But you get it down here on the female side, and it, it tends to get in there and hold pretty well. And I find if I use a piece of gear regularly, uh, I don't know, once every year, maybe two, I'll have to come back in and apply a little bit more of this. All right, that's all I got for you. You'll be seeing this poncho a lot more. I'll be talking about how to use ponchos and why I like them and really do prefer them to something like a a more modern uh, Gore-Tex rain gear in most situations. At least most situations that I am going to be encountering now. Um, ah, I want to get into that because that's a whole other video. In the meantime, get out there. Have fun, enjoy nature, all that, and y'all take care of each other, all right?